Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna cook for you an Italian minestrone. It's gonna be so good and so tasty, very easy to make. So what are you waiting for? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to thank so much my patients for their support. And I invite you guys, and even those who are watching this video for the very first time, I make few cooking videos that are very cool and you will find the link in the description below and I hope guys, I really hope that you will support me even for the month of December as a Christmas present please don't hesitate to subscribe on Patreon Thank you so much Let's get back to the video So I've just had the two stock cubes to make the stocks that we're gonna use it later on So make sure you get the garlic, clean the garlic and then you need to push it so that the, the bitter part will go away. Well first of all you need to clean you know, your vegetables like potatoes and the carrots, we have a car one carrot and we have like onions, we have lots of things. My friend is making a mess here, but um, yes. He's quite fast actually, I'm, I'm not as fast as he is. And be careful when you cut your potatoes, you may cut yourself, so. Sometimes I, I prefer to use the regular knife to do this, as I think that this tool Maybe if it's a chip tool, it won't work as well as a normal knife, you know? So we need to slice the, the and cut the potatoes into cubes, like small cubes. So people don't take any of their time for making recipes, for cooking and stuff and they usually tend to use like already ready stuff. So this is a, it, it's a longer process but the, the, uh, the result is way better than the stuff that you, the ready stuff that you buy. You know? Our stock is basically ready here. So let's keep it ready and warm, ready for the use. So now we are like chopping the carrot. <laughs> I was just showing my friend how to, to cut the carrots and I almost cut my finger but yeah, I'm so experienced in this and uh, that's fantastic. So with our chick lard now we're gonna cut it into small pieces. Do your very best, it's kind of challenging to cut it well and maybe you will need like better knives, I don't have it. So please support me on Patreon guys, and this way I'll be able to buy new knives and better equipment for cooking. So now we need to peel the onion and we need to cut it in small cubes if we can.
freaking we're about to cry. Now it's time to cut our celery. We're still crying because of the onion. Oh my gosh. Let's add some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna add our garlic and after soon we're gonna add our chick lard and we're gonna make sure it has to melt a little bit okay now let's add our chick lard mm -hmm. So make sure you mix it, otherwise it's gonna burn. We don't want this to happen, okay? So we need to wait for the fat part, the, the white part, to, to melt a little bit. And then as soon as it is ready, we can add our celery, carrots, and potatoes. And onions, of course. So before adding the, the rest of the vegetables, we're gonna take off the garlic, otherwise it's gonna be too heavy and we don't want this to happen uh, let's get rid of the garlic we don't need it anymore and now let's add the rest of the vegetables I turn up the heat a little bit, the, the flame, so just mix it for 5 minutes Make sure you don't burn it. Let's add a little bit of salt and let's mix. So we need to do this for uh, at least five minutes. Okay guys, for this recipe usually you need to use uh, beans, but not the, not the ones I use from the can because these ones are already cooked and they're ready. If you use dry beans, you need to give it a lot of time. So, so it's gonna take around about one hour and 30 minutes to be ready, but we don't want this to happen. So we will add the stock. We will let it cook. So we'll make sure the potatoes will, will be soft. And as soon as the potatoes are soft, we will add the, the beans and the pasta eventually. So that's our strategy here. So we're gonna go this way. So yeah, we're adding the stock and we are gonna let it cook for a while. So we're gonna cover the uh, the pan and we're gonna let it cook for a while. In a while we're gonna add some black pepper. So we're gonna add the beans with the water inside the can. The water is just so good. These beans are the best beans in the world. My favorite ones. And we're gonna bring the water to boil and we're gonna add the pasta basically, you know? Okay, we're ready to put the pasta in. Okay, let's try the pasta now. Wow, smoking. Mmm. This is so, so freaking good. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you feel sad, you better call sad. Bye bye.